welcome to uh, today's daily devotional. Uh, if you do not know me, my name is Umto Woko and uh, it's really uh, a privilege for me to be sharing with you this morning on what I believe God has placed in my heart for us to talk about. And so if I were to title this uh, devotion, I'd call it Certain Uncertainty. Certain Uncertainty. So I have a question for you. Have you ever found yourself uh, in a moment where you were very uncertain about what was going to happen in, in the near future or for the next little while, whatever. But have you ever found yourself with a whole lot of uncertainty? I like to tell you a story. I remember back in uh, grade three. Uh, so when you move from grade three to grade four, there is something called a pen license that uh, you, you get. I mean, you're moving from writing on pencil to writing in pen. And so you used to get a pen license. And, and uh, I remember at grade three, towards the end of the year, uh, our teacher, Mrs. DeClerc, I remember had told us that, okay, somewhat, some of you guys are going to get a pen license, but some of you aren't, uh, depending on how neatly you write or whatever. And that was a very uncertain time in my life, if I'm being honest, because my handwriting has never been the neatest handwriting in the world. So it was pretty uncertain for me. And uh, I, I just remember living in a whole lot of uncertainty. But, but I mean, that's just a, a silly example of uncertainty that we can face in life. In Acts chapter 20, uh, Paul is facing some uncertainty. So in, in Acts chapter 20, I'm going to read verse 21 for us uh, and, and 22. This is what it says. Uh, actually, verse 22. And now, behold, I am going to Jerusalem, constrained by the Holy Spirit, not knowing what will happen to me there, except that the Holy Spirit testifies to me in every city that imprisonments and afflictions await me. But I do not account my life any value as precious to myself only to finish my course and the ministry that I have received from the Lord Jesus. So Paul uh, says here that he is going to Jerusalem because he is constrained by the Holy Spirit. He is prompted by the Holy Spirit, but actually he has no idea what's going to happen there. Paul's in a whole lot of uncertainty in, 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 in this moment in time, but what can we take from him is that even though there is uncertainty, there is one certainty in there in it is that the Holy Spirit is constraining him to go. The Holy Spirit is leading him to go. And can I say that in, in uncertain moments, I, I mean, 2021 can look a bit uncertain. We have no idea how things are going to play out. I mean, are we going to come out of lockdown soon? Or are we not? Things can be uncertain, but there is one certainty that we have, that the Holy Spirit is on our side and he continues to lead us. As we trust the Holy Spirit, as we trust the prompts of the Holy Spirit, even in uncertain moments, we can have certainty. In Psalm 119, uh, the psalmist writes and he says that your word is a, a light to my path and a lamp to my feet. And as we read God's word and we trust the Holy Spirit, he becomes a light to our next step. He becomes a light to the very next step, not the big picture. Not to remove all uncertainty, but to the next step, this is what I need you to do next. Can we trust the Holy Spirit to give us certainty in these uncertain times? To be our pillar in these moments where we actually sometimes don't know what everything is happening or how everything is going to happen. I love Hebrews 11. Uh, towards uh, the end of the chapter, it says that we have received a kingdom that cannot be shaken. 2020 and, and possibly 2021 has shaken up a whole lot of things. Life has been shaken up and things are uncertain. But what we do know and what is certain is God's kingdom that cannot be shaken, that remains forever. And we've received it and we received the Holy Spirit and, and we received Christ whom, who we, whom we can hold on to. Hebrews 4 says that Christ is, is an anchor for our souls. Our hope in Christ is like an anchor. And so in these uncertain moments, can we trust in the Holy Spirit prompts? Can we listen to where he's directing, where he's leading, what he's saying, and trust him that he's going to lead us to where he wants us to be in? Even in uncertainty, we have certainty. Certainty in God and his Holy Spirit to lead us always. I hope you're encouraged and blessed by this, and I hope you have an amazing day.